Kubor Nagashlem Jong Nong San Hima. Hak bayar ini bagi jing temu jong keseng Hinyo Trap National Liberation Council, Barwan Yakran Yasukno Abad Kesorkar. Nak liang Dr Mukul Sang Mau lo ong ba ke jingkwa jong upat ba ke jellahi kalong bait banwan ra ya ke songsuk songsngan lo ong ba ki briu ke juper khat baling ba ke jinglik rung kai khlau ki yo lat na ke jing sha pen chitom wat ha ba ki la dep ban ne ki kam sniu lo ong ha ke por ba ke sorkar jong u ka bat ya ke kam sen char ke jing temu kalong bait banwan ra ya ke jing songsuk songsngan Hapo ka jela bat barok ki kam sini ki ba kite ki kai klaw ki la le ru ha ka por ba ki dan hapo ka seng ka jong ki ka sorkar kan maap ya ki bat ba ki dei ban trei lang bat ka sorkar ban wan ra biang ya ka jing song suk song sngan hapo ka jela na ka ban tau pat ba bat ka em lang ka sa lang hi barok ka wei lo ong ru ba ka sorkar ka dei ban sngap ha ki liang barok ha ka ba ya dei ba jing wan ya kran ya suk jong ka seng HNLC bat lo ong ba udan ka jing nget ba barok ki dukhat ki ba dan ban ta ha ki seng kai klaw ba phair ba Kita bertemu bantuan yang keren yang suka nak kita bantuan kejeng kuat bagi dia bantuan rap yang ia kesong suk song sengan. I think you can always look at how things are. It has been the collective desire and intent of the people of the state to restore peace. Now there are many ways of engaging with so-called militant outfits with uh, notified and banned outfits, proscribed <laughs> organizations, there are many ways. Now, uh, but the intent must be very clear. Intent must be to restore a peace which is sustainable. Okay. Now, if any exercise or modality adopted uh, create a situation where people tend to think that, okay, uh, by joining militancy, by um, <coughs> Floating organizations, uh, people can uh, ultimately get away even after committing crime, then uh, its ramification will be different. Now, even when we embark upon this whole exercise, the comprehensive, multi pronged approach that was adopted by the then government, the intent was to restore peace which can be sustained. And therefore, we have been abundantly clear in ensuring that, okay, all those uh, crimes committed as per records which were available with the uh, law enforcing agencies, if there is any heinous crime committed by any of the members of the organization, then uh, we will not uh, uh, have any kind of uh, so-called um, writing of those cases or withdrawal of such cases in respect of heinous crimes committed, which are well defined, which uh, were particularly meant for any instances of killing or murder. <coughs> okay. The rest we decided the government will withdraw uh, to ensure that okay, the uh, honest intent of all the members who belong to these different organizations, including banned and proscribed organizations, are able to really assimilate themselves with the national mainstream and be a capable, competent contributor for the overall growth and prosperity of the community and the state and the nation as a whole. So that was how we looked at things. Now, uh, how this whole exercise will unfold and how this whole discussion will ultimately be dribbled or um, uh, somehow uh, negotiated by them by both the parties, rather here not both, it's a tripartite uh, discussion, uh, will have to be keenly watched. Because the ultimate intention must be to ensure that there is a peace restored, but which is sustained. That's why we will have to be, we have to be, we have to be seeing, uh, you know, the modalities adopted by uh, both government of India and the state government. We'll have to look at how the modalities are adopted and uh, I'm sure they will ultimately be transparent. They will also take cognizance the sentiments of the people. The governments uh, will always uh, have to be sensitive to all the concerns. So therefore, even, even any member of the proscribed organization must commit utmost sincerity to restore peace and sustain that. That must be the first uh, indication of their will and determination. And I have reasons to believe that all the members belonging to different uh, proscribed organizations, be it uh, 
not just one particular organization, uh, must always, whenever they uh, indicate any intention to engage in uh, this kind of uh, dialogue, the dialogue must be a well-intended dialogue to achieve the ultimate goal of restoring peace and sustaining them. So, 